Hello, it's Sarah. I just figured I'd make a bracelet for you guys. I'm going to clear off my desk today and I'm going to get back to, I'm going to make a little angel. And I think I'm going to gift it to someone um, that I have in mind. Uh, anywho, for today, you're going to need some stretchy cord. I like the 0.7 millimeter. I've tried several different millimeters, like this one is, no, this is 0.7. Anywho, I have tried them all, and this one just really ties a nice knot. It's not too thick, it's not too thin, and I like it. Um, happens to be the Stretch Magic brand, but you don't need that. Um, I want to make a bracelet that says, just for today. Um, I really like that slogan. It keeps me present, and I don't want to... I can look back, but I don't want to stare, and I don't want to worry about the future. I want to stay in today for the most part. And I'm going to use um, these chakra beads, the colors of the chakra. Um, I, have, I had this other bracelet, and it, it said, uh, go with the flow. But I think I want just for today. Um, so anyway, I have my letter beads. These are beads that I got at Hobby Lobby. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> a little tip they they go on sale so instead of paying $21.99 I probably paid 10 bucks because uh, they go 50% off so I'm gonna use my tweezers and I had some letters so I need um, J E F G H I J <laughs> J here we go sorry J U S T um, these you can find in the beading department. Um, the other ones, like I have this bracelet, Trust. It's a little bit of a bigger size, and it's like uh, round. You can find these in the in the bead department too, but sometimes they're in the kids department. Like they're just they package them like this. Alphabet beads, um, Treehouse Studios. I don't know. I might have gotten these at Walmart. So they're around in your craft stores um <laughs> they're fun though they're fun i i started by just putting my name or or my kids names or things like that but then i decided i wanted to try and make these kind of messages to myself just just for two day and they really help i love looking down not only do i love the beads like i try to pick a bead that so for instance this is citrine i just think it's gorgeous and i paired it with some rose gold metal beads and some like kind of honey color crystals and a butterfly this one says response ability i have re the ability to respond and not react and this is these green beads i don't even know if they're like a type maybe they might just be glass but i had this tree of life so I've been collecting for a long time, and like I said, generally I get them on, on sale. Um, so I just have a stash. I keep them here in this basket. And so I don't have to go to the store. <laughs> I can just pull from what I have. All right, so I have just for today. Now I wear an 8-inch bracelet. I'm sorry, 7-inch bracelet. So I'm going to cut this to approximately eight inches, just because I don't like to waste it. But like, I have this little measuring thing here. These are cool to have, because it keeps your beads from flying all over your desk. So I'm gonna cut this at about eight inches. It's, it's a little over, because, and then I give it a little stretch. Just kind of stretch it out, kind of break the tension so that um, it's true to size. All right, so that's my my piece of elastic that's all you need I also use glossy accents when I tie my knot just to keep it a little extra secure but it's not necessary I do think that this plastic tends to hold on to itself pretty good and because it's for me I don't really worry about it as much like if I was selling these I would probably be a little more specific about how I um, handled that I mean I think it, I've never had an issue literally I wear these every day I just roll them on and off my wrist all the, and I, I don't think I've ever ever had any of them break so what I want to do now is decide <clears throat> oh, I think I know I want to decide what would play as always I want it to play with 
what I have on here. So when I design a bracelet, like, I don't have that many here, but like, I try to play with the tones, you know, so I use, this has green in it, and then I use the green and green crystals, you know, so I'm de deciding. I've been really, because I have my rose gold metallic nails right now, but I change them all the time. But I'm thinking this might be and I want to say this is a just a glass bead. I'm gonna I'll come in real close. It's got sparkle in it. Let me see if it's on this bracelet. No, I didn't put any on here, but it would play really nice with this green. But do you see that like sparkle? I think I want to use them. Let's see. Yeah, and because they're like a neutral color, they're not like a color of the chakra, red, orange, yellow, green, blue indigo and purple oh you can't even see those but anyway all right i'll come back up i think um i think i'm going with it yep decision made and that's pretty fast for me <laughs> because i have so many options and i love color and i just love texture and i love playing so i hope you guys are have been in your craft rooms i haven't i've been mia i'm gonna like I said, I hope to come back. I'm going to, right after I make, I'm going to go down and I'm going to cut my wood block for my do art doll. And then I'm going to clear my desk and I'm going to come back and I'm going to create an art doll. It's Friday. I got nothing going on tonight. I'm so glad because I have been quite busy. All right. Now, what color do I want to, I usually, <clears throat> usually <clears throat> use something for a spacer in between my words like a crystal and or I could do a metal but look let's see I have all these crystals uh, I have these out these are kind of like I think they were called chrome or look at them they're so gorge but I might have I really like them so sparkly I think I have a more golden tone one though. I'm gonna look in my stash real quick in my basket. And I can come back and show you when I'm ready. But like this is what I do, I audition. I, I pull things that I think, and this is what I do in all my crafting. If I'm mosaicing, if I'm pretty much painting anything, you just audition different texture, different color, different, you know, whatever like this green is so popping omg um all right so i will go off camera after i've decided um i will come back and i will share and we'll just build a bracelet it'll take a sec all right i'll be right back hey okay, i'm all set i decided to go with moonstone and i used the um honey color i don't know what color uh, crystals and they're not from the same strand at all I have little ones in between the words and these I think were my Aunt Elna's I had a crystal bead necklace anywho but the moonstone is it's got some um, flash in it like when you turn it it has flash anyway and then the shocker here and I divided them from the moonstone with a crystal so let's string and this is it this is it what that's the hard part <laughs> so once you, I'm just making sure I'm plugged in here. Once you establish your pattern or whatever types of beads you want, you start stringing. Now, the other thing, where you tie the whole kind of mat, I mean, tie the tie the knot kind of matters. And why I said hole was because if you have a bead with like a big hole in it, or um, even like with this heart, I would probably tie the knot, oopsie, right where the, the, division of the heart is so that the the knot gets kind of camouflaged so that I, that's my ideal place to tie a knot is when you either have a biggish hole or there's somewhere you can camouflage it this doesn't seem to be the case for these I have really nothing with a big hole the holes are really all the same that T this T looks kind of decent though see how what I mean so I think I'm going to tie the hole um tie the hole I'm going to tie the knot right here. So I'm going to start stringing at, and I'm just going to make sure everything's, you know, facing forward. But I'm going to start stringing here, 
and then I'll end here and I'll, I'll end up tying the knot right here so I'm just gonna start with my Y just make sure I'm gonna make sure it's facing me that all the letters are facing me and I generally haven't had an issue with uh, the beads being cut wrong or or drilled wrong okay this is a crystal bead it's a bicone and I like using these as the spacer kind of between my words I'll show you how that fits but you just want to make sure that your letters are that you're spelling everything right and your letters are facing the right way but like that that it kind of just sits nice the bicone bead sits nice in between the letters so just for today I will be I will choose happiness that doesn't mean that my feeling that sad feelings don't come in my head or you know I was missing my brother yesterday I was so I'll tell you this I I was driving and listening to music that made me re think of my brother um, I lost him in 2019 and he loved music he would take he kind of toted his little um speaker his bluetooth speaker everywhere he went and like especially to the beach or even when he came over here by the pool he would just have his own speaker and have his tunes constantly playing so anyway i had this little fantasy of i was gonna do a karaoke and i i cannot sing i would i don't think i should do that i mean especially nowadays with people that have their cameras out all the time <laughs> um so i'm just going to scooch this down and i'm gonna so i'll push everything down gently red orange yellow green blue indigo purple i just don't want to lose anywho um yeah i was having this little fantasy in my head that i was going to do um a dedication to my brother and sing karaoke isn't that silly anyway um, I think he would appreciate that I just think he he told me one time that he was thinking of he wanted to be a singer I don't know where this came from um, but he I don't think I ever really heard him sing like like a you know like acapella or anything not you know just to music in the car and omg just so funny that i thought that anywho um so what i'm saying is in general just for today i can even i can tolerate something that i might not be able to tolerate for much longer than that but just for one day i know it's going to pass and i also can just make choices that make me happy i can change my perspective on something it's really handy to do that and I've suffered enough in my life I don't want to I don't want to sit in pain anymore so I'm choosing happiness today Oop, my phone is ringing um, I'm gonna get it so yeah so all right now we're at the end I have and I did not leave myself a lot of room there is very little room so this could be fudgy but just be gentle and careful but let's see I want to make sure everything's in the right spot just for today is spelled right I have my big crystal big crystal big crystal big crystal and I only have little ones for okay um, red orange yellow green blue indigo purple we're ready so I'm gonna get my glue ready because sometimes the oh good it's nice and sometimes this thing gets stuck so I just wanted to make sure it was ready now this I'm just gonna do this as gently as possible but I don't have a lot of room but what I like to do is put my finger down as close to the end as I can and crisscross the elastic and hold it and then I reach under and I so now I have one crisscross now I do it again and it's so OMG I'm gonna use my tweezers to actually grab that end and pull it up geez guys I cut it too short all right, and I'm going to hold it, and then you put this squeeze of glue right on top of the bottom knot, and then I'm going to, oops, oh no, oh no, oh no, I can grab it and pull. 
and that's a double knot basically right so I because I did the one and then so I double knotted it and then hopefully it will that knot will settle into this hole of the Y right so basically you can just cut it right away it's it's fine I just put that glue on there as a little added but generally the plastic holds on to itself pretty good so again I used a bicone I'm kind of trying to pull the yep it went right into that Y and now you're not I'm sorry now your knot is hidden so I have a just for today bracelet with the chakra beads on the back I always try to put a little something fun on the back so that if it does spin around on me I have something cute to look at and that's it just for today I choose happiness and look so it's upside down that way but it's right this way and that's it you guys so I hope you enjoyed that fingers crossed I'll be back let me zoom back down I'll be back I'm gonna clean off my desk from all this beading stuff and my other painting stuff and I'm gonna work on that angel can't wait love you guys thanks for watching <laughs>